Proverbs 6. There are six things that the Lord hates, seven that are an abomination to Him. And you know what two of them are? It's not just the acts of wickedness. It's a false witness. God says, I hate, I abominate a false witness who breathes out lies and one who sows discord among brothers. Somebody who's divisive, God hates them. Not just what they do. Scripture says, them. You can't go but six chapters into your Bible. And what happens? God kills every man, woman, and child on the face of the earth except eight souls. God hates not just the sin, His hatred. You know, I... Years ago, we, we had a track that showed the ark. Lightning, dark clouds, the rain is falling. And there are men and women desperate as the waters are rising trying to get into the ark. And on the side of it is a smiley face that says, Smile, God loves you. It was not, that track was not made to be funny. It was made to show how foolish so much of modern day evangelism is. When you go out into this world and you tell people to smile because God loves them, look what Scripture tells us is that all of mankind are children of wrath. We are objects of the hatred of God by nature. We don't deserve His love. God could say this, Noah have I loved and the rest of the world I hated. You see, we get, we get stirred up. Paul ex- expects people to get stirred up just when it's Jacob have I loved and Esau have I hated? Like just, just, you know, one in one. God's love, God's hatred. But what about when God takes the whole world and His hatred is expressed and He wipes them all out and He saves but eight souls? This is the kind of God we have. And let me tell you something. When He wiped out Sodom and Gomorrah, He has Peter tell us He brought them to extinction. He turned them to ashes as an example of what is going to happen to the ungodly now. He spared Lot. This is all through Scripture. Lot have I loved. Sodom and Gomorrah have I hated. This is all over. When the Lord hates somebody, In Paul's estimation, it's not injustice. Is there injustice with God? Why? Because Esau was hated. He said, by no means. God said, I will have mercy upon whom I will have mercy. And I will have compassion. Remember this. Mercy. If you get justice and you get what your sins deserve, it is the full all-out Deep wrath and hatred and indignation and fury. Fierce anger of God. And that is what mankind deserves and we don't think so. And we have to be reminded over and over of this. And this is the reason why I wanted to go back to it. Brethren, what stock do we come from? We were children of wrath like the rest of mankind. Paul says it is no injustice on God's part for him to hate Esau. Why? Because it's not unjust. It's just. That means it's right. It is right for God to hate sinners. And you can be sure of this. If God hates somebody, it's precisely because they're hate-worthy. If God abominates somebody, it's because they're abominable. If God is offended by somebody, it's because they're offensive. That is the reality, brethren. God is not unjust to hate mankind. 
because mankind is a hateful thing by nature. It ought to be hated. Evil people ought to be hated by a good and a holy God. That is only right. God hated mankind. He wiped out mankind in the flood. Why? Because those people were such character that it demanded that they be wiped out. Justice demanded it. God only damns those who are damnable. But that's all of mankind. There are no exceptions. You can read there in Romans chapter 3. There's none righteous. And in case we thought, well, there might be an exception. No, not one. Boy, we have to be reminded, reminded over and over. God, you know, you, you, we just have this sense that the world, we don't feel it. We don't feel it. We don't hear the thunder all the time and see the dark clouds. But like Pilgrim in Pilgrim's Progress, he recognized there is a storm. There is destruction. It's coming. It's on the horizons out there. But we just we have to be brought back. We have to be reminded. Brethren, by nature, we were children of wrath. Children of God's hatred. 